and I now have the utmost pleasure of standing here with Grubby, who just came second here at the IM in Singapore, and his lovely wife and manager, Cassandra, who's been uh, watching all those games throughout the tournament. So let's talk a little bit about the games first, if they have been as incredible as can be. Um, you've made every, like seriously, almost every game we saw now in the later stages of the tournament were so, so, so close. Did you expect to come that far at all and to make those games so close? As you said, you have been in a good shape before. So going into this tournament, I had no right to really know what I would, what I would expect from the games because I didn't have like the most amazing run at BWC, but there was all this practice that I've done in the last two months, very intensive. And although I've been traveling a lot, I've been thinking a lot. And the talk I had with uh, soccer on the plane helped a lot, soccer, the German protest player. And then I had just been thinking a lot, preparing for this event. And I felt great here. Like everything has been arranged so well here for me. Uh, hotel, I mean, it's in Singapore, great weather, great people, great food. And, w and usually when I feel good at a tournament, I play good too. So I knew it was going to be a big challenge, but every time I got further, I got greedier and I wanted to go one more step further. And even when I was behind, I didn't want to give up. So it became this really exciting roller coaster ride. So how was that for you to, to watching having those all those close games? It was so amazing. I love the crowd. I love that it's in Singapore. I love that he got into the finals. I was so proud. How much does that mean to you to have like your wife and manager always being there at events or almost always being there at events and support you? Well, she's like the person in the world that understands me the most. So when I am going through some uh, emotional or you know any kind of mindset problems, she can recognize it immediately and she can often say a few words to set it right. So uh, it, it really means a lot. So when you two are at an event, uh, how, how do you split the roles? I mean, you obviously have to play. Uh, what do you do uh, during that time as its manager? Well, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm like doing so many different things uh, to support him in every way. So how, how do you see the split roles? Uh, what do you think is she doing the whole time which she doesn't see? <laughs> well, first of all, I have to say just her presence. That's the one that means the most already. So just seeing her there and sometimes some sweet words like you did all right or you can take him or don't be scared or you know anything like just anything that might help me to set my mentality straight for the next match and then well because we are life partners and obviously we're both happy when I'm doing well in the game so she will try to find anything she can to uh, to make me somehow more more comfortable more able to play the game and uh, I'm of course very grateful for that. But for now, he's still actually going for the push here. If he can shut down all the economy at this third base, MC is going to be vastly behind. The Phoenix is still going for the engagement once again. The Archons ripping everything apart what MC has right now. It's 150 supply to 61 here. MC is on the verge of elimination. GG! And oh I have heard the roar of Grubby. We can wow. hear the roar of the crowd as well. So many people watching this game for the fifth game. Grubby eliminates SKMC wow. in one of the most insane PvPs of all time. Grubby goes over to the crowd. How much motivation do you actually take out of uh, fan chantings and stuff like that? Uh, you know, when you're when you're down 2-0 and it looks like you're getting wiped out 3-0, you hear everyone cheering for you like that. It just gives you that kind of fighting spirit that you need to be able to make that very long route of going back and taking three wins in a row. So hearing them cheer for me, I mean, it's such a great feeling to be here again in the semifinals, in the finals. And uh, that just gave me the motivation that I really needed to uh, really give it my all. Even when I'm starting to feel tired, even when I'm starting to think like, oh no, I'm losing. Like uh, they really get me back into the game, get my adrenaline running and yeah. Uh, Therefore, my second place partly belongs to them. And look at this, Slipko has almost nothing. His last Roach is being targeted down. He has Zerglings coming out, but without speed, Grubby can out micro them. And this is looking fantastic for Grubby. Still 20 supply up here. He's microing back. He wants that last wave of Zealots to come along to try and seal in the deal. Two Roaches left, three Roaches in production. He needs more Roaches than this, and he just can't get them. He just doesn't have the lava. He doesn't have the bank. The last remaining queen is going to fall near this natural. And with that, so many units dying off. Even the Overlords, if completely vulnerable. He's dancing the Zealots. He's dancing the Zealots. Grubby feels safe. He's done it. He's done it. GG. 
How did you feel when you were down 0-2? Pretty bad. <laughs> and how do you feel right now? Pretty good! Yeah! You almost pulled off the most incredible comeback in the finals. I know you must be disappointed, but is there anything you would just like to say to all the people out there today? It just felt so good again to be in the finals in front of such an amazing crowd. So even though I lost, I'm so happy. Thanks.